Hi, I'm Liv. Let's see what's coming up on today's show. An Australian rover's going to the moon. The NRL gets a new team. And a 994 kilogram pumpkin. But first, why don't you hit subscribe? For the first time ever, we're gonna have an Aussie on the moon. But it's not a person, it's a rover. The Aussie government has made a deal with NASA to build a rover that could be sent to the moon as early as 2026. Here's Kale. Right, so uh, here's what I reckon. You know, maybe you should have some, some thongs. It had like a cork hat. And then flip this over, it's a barbecue. This is what I imagined an Aussie space rover would look like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Turns out it's a bit more like this. It's just a model, but soon Australia will be sending a real-life $50 million rover to the moon. We've struck a deal with NASA for Australian companies to build this rover, which will collect soil, known as regolith, and see how its oxygen could help us live in space. It'll travel as part of NASA's project Artemis, a mission to set up a permanent base on the moon, and one day get humans to Mars. It's not the first time Australia's lent a hand to NASA. In fact, this satellite dish in parks helped broadcast the first moon landing. In fact, Australia is vital to our role. But it will be the first time Australia has set foot, or wheel, on the lunar surface. The Aussie government says building this rover will create a bunch of jobs in the next five years. So you never know. Some of you guys might help build part of Aussie history. The Socceroos' winning streak is over. Australia lost to Japan in last night's World Cup qualifier 2 to 1. The win keeps Japan's hopes of automatic qualification alive for the 2022 World Cup, but ends the Aussies' 11 match winning streak. The NRL's newest team will officially be the Dolphins. The Dolphins will be the 17th team to play in the National Rugby League. They're based at Redcliffe, north of Brisbane, and will join the league from 2023. They beat out the Brisbane Firehawks and Ipswich Jets for the new spot. Fake meat versus real meat. Can you tell the difference? The demand for products that taste like meat but are made from plants or created in a lab is literally growing all the time. Leela looks into it. It's my most greatest creation yet. Burger science might seem like something I've made up, but it's not too far off what these real Queensland scientists are up to. They're researching how our bodies experience eating meat to make plant-based alternatives out of ingredients like chickpeas and mung beans. We need to know the fundamental science to know what is it that makes a meat burger hold together and feel uh, juicy and elastic in the mouth? And can we mimic that in plant proteins? It's something many people want. Some like the taste of meat, but don't like the idea of killing animals, or don't like the impact that farming animals can have on the environment, which is why there's a bunch of meat alternatives you can find at the shops and restaurants already. It certainly looks as though it is a market that is continuing to uh, expand. As for this plant-based research... There's great opportunities for the future here, and I think it's going to be really good for um, consumers and, and researchers to start entering this space. And they say they're getting closer all the time. They're going to love you! Ladies and gentlemen, the captain has turned on the fasteners. Now buckle up and stow away your carry Because we're heading to the land of the Bold Eagle and the Statue of Liberty. It's time for an all-American adventure. Our first stop is California, where a 994 kilo pumpkin has taken out the gold in this year's World Championship pumpkin weigh-off. The grower behind the beast, Jeff Ullmeyer, took home some pretty decent prize money for his efforts. And that comes to $19,709. <laughs> Next up, we're heading to Colorado, where this poor guy had been wandering around with a tire around his neck for two years. Luckily, wildlife officials have now managed to tranquilize the elk and rid him of his heavy burden. Our last stop on this adventure is North Dakota, where the northern lights have lit up the night sky. They were also spotted in skies across the border in Canada. That is insane. I've never seen it that high before. 
There it goes again. There it goes again. Kevin Crew. That's all for today, but before you go, don't forget to hit subscribe. Bye. Thank you for flying with BTN Airways.